Well, greetings, everybody. So here is a question that just came in from somebody working on assignment 4.3. And it says, no matter what assignment it's from, the question says, find the sum of the finite geometric series using the formula for S and there's a subscript in. Check all your check your answer by adding up the terms. Okay. Well, anyway, that's what it says. Here's how I would go about it. So what you see here is this, just copied down. And what I do to express this kind of thing, this is called summation notation, is I start with this number here for i. Notice there's an i here in this formula. There's a three. There's a 1.05, but there's an i and I count from 1 up to 6 in the i and I stop when I get to 6 and I add everything together. So I would proceed like this. I start with i is 1 in this formula. That would be 3 times 1.05 to the power 1 minus 1 and that's the term you see here from i is equal to 1. And then I add because this is called summation notation. I go to 2. I'm going to count from 1 to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I go to 2. 3 times 1.05 to the power 2 minus 1. So that would be this. 3 times 1.05 to the first power. And I count all the way through. Now I don't, I haven't written every term down, but I would go from 1 to 2 to 3. And I would keep going until I got to 6, right? That's where I stop. I stop at 6. Now, what this is, is a geometric series. The reason for that is because if I take any term in this series, and multiply by 1.05, I will get the next term. That's what a geometric series is. Any term times some fixed number that we call r for the series gets you the next term, okay? So if I took the first term and I multiplied by 1.05, I would get this term. And if I took that term and I multiplied by 1.05, I would get the next one. Why is that? Well, because when you multiply like things, you add the exponent. So 1.05 times itself is 1.05 squared. So that's how you go through <coughs> the series to understand this geometric. So the first term is this term here. And if you calculate that, 3 times 1.05 to the 0 power is 3. And r, as I mentioned, is 1.05. Now, when this particular question mentions using the formula for Sn, there's a formula that will calculate the sum of a certain number of terms of a geometric series. Here it is right here. The sum of the first n terms of the geometric series is a1, the first term, times 1 minus r, this multiplier that gets you from one term to the next, to the next, and so on, to the power n divided by 1 minus r. For my problem right here, first term is this one. And that's 3 times 1 minus r, 1.05. And there are six terms right here. What I'm doing is trying to find the sum of six terms of a geometric series. So when I do this, I let n be 6. Because there, I'm trying to find the sum of six terms. There are six terms right here. So I get 1.05 to the 6 power. Divide by 1 minus r, but r is 1.05. Now, at this point, I would use my calculator. I get 20.40573. Okay? So that's one way to do it. I put method 1 here, that you can use this formula that is intended to calculate the sum of n terms of a geometric series. Six terms in my case right here. Um, there's another method that you could use. You could just add these numbers together. You know, get your calculator out. Take 3 times 1.05 to the 0 power plus 3 times 1.05 to the first power. Go through and add all six of them together until you're done, and then you'll get this number. So no matter what, you'll like that's what you get. This formula is just meant to be a shortcut to that. So let's put the answer in. I notice here it says around to four decimal places, so I'll get 20.4057 if I round that to four decimal places, it's gonna look like that. And we'll check it and there it is.